Hi everyone, it's Jenny from the Dirt Hippie channel. Um, I have another garden pest that I wanted to show you all. It's uh, um, the fall webworm and it's just starting to come out and uh, make its webs now. And it's a pest that forms, uh, it's a caterpillar and it forms a webbing on the ends of the stems. Um, in the early spring you might see one it, it, um, that they form tents in the crotches of trees. This one forms webbing on the ends of the branches, so it's different. Um, it's called fall webworm because we usually see a lot of the damage in the fall, but they start building their webs now. And I usually just prune them off and burn the stems um, if I can catch it this early. Uh, what it looks like from above. See the webbing is all the way down this stem and then I also have some up at the top of this stem here. So I'm gonna try to grab those and then I'll do a close-up. Okay so uh, I wanted to show you what I clipped off. I found some on witch hazel as well as uh, some of my red osier dogwood. So this is uh, what it looks like. So it's got the webbing at the ends, as you can see. All the little black dots are actually the poop and it's a whole bunch of little caterpillars in here. Um, now they're not actually in this piece. Uh, they were in a smaller piece next to it. And here they all are hunkered down in the web. So you can see all the little caterpillars in there. See them all? And this looks to be about the second instar. And what an instar means is um, as a caterpillar grows, it goes through these stages where it gets um, larger until it uh, pupates. So um, I want to show you an even smaller set. So I have, um, yeah, here we go. This is in the first instar right here. And we have a little volunteer spider, oops. <laughs> a little volunteer spider too. Uh, this is very tiny. Can you see these, these little guys here? I mean, super small um, in the webbing. And um, so these were in plants next to each other. Um, so I just go ahead and clip them off now because they defoliate um, my shrubs and trees. And it doesn't kill the tree. I mean, these are native. They're found all over. Um, it doesn't kill them. It just stresses the trees out uh, because it, essentially prevents them from photosynthesizing for the entire season. So I go ahead and clip them out while they're young. Um, if you don't see them until, you know, later in the season, go ahead and clip the foliage out anyway uh, and hope that you can get some of the caterpillars, even if they're large, go ahead and pull them out because you don't want them to pupate and, and create more caterpillars that can affect next year's um, trees and shrubs. So, or the foliage for next year's trees and shrubs. So I like to clip it out early when I find it and then I put it in the burn pile. Um, it just goes right into the burn barrel. I don't even mess around with it. Um, so that's my tip for today. I'll catch you outside.